right across from our campsite, we got this. Now, if we had site 17, that would be perfect. But hey, we'll take it. I am uh, still waiting on the tank to fill up. <clears throat> and while I'm waiting, I'm gonna run down here to the bath and shower house. It looks like this uh, site 12 has electric too. That's nice. I think, uh, I'm not sure what these little buildings are. I think maybe the one back there has uh, firewood. It said $7 a bundle. Looks like a nice uh, bathrooms. A lot of these sites are definitely just geared for tent camping. You can tell they have the pad to set up the tent on and just a little driveway to park on. So I'm thinking 17 and 18 are really the only ones made for a good sized rig. 12, uh, you could probably fit maybe a 25 foot rig in there. 14 is a pull through, so you could, well, no, it's not actually pull through. It's just very deep, very tight though. Site 13, you may be able to fit a smaller rig in there. But I would say I would not want to attempt any of these with any rig over probably 15, 17 feet. You know, pop-up pop up trailers, stuff like that. 15, yeah, you could probably fit one in 15. It's fairly deep. <sighs> All right, let's see where we stand on filling up the tanks. When I was researching staying here and looking at YouTube videos on South Mountain State Park, I didn't really see anybody show that there is a water fill right here that you can uh, top off your freshwater tanks. We definitely didn't want to travel from Florida with full tanks. So it's good to have this here. You can fill our tanks. Okay. So I hiked this trail this morning, me and Nikki did, but now it's time for Miss Allie to hike the trail with us. It is a great trail all along the river here. What do you think? Uh, that would be nice if the leaves were on the trees so you could see all the colors. And it was warmer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm filming. The water is absolutely crystal clear here. So we just got finished hiking the Jacob Fork Trail. And we just made a little pit stop here in the bathroom. And as we started to walk down a little bit further, we did notice that this is a perfect trail to take the bikes. So I think we're gonna finish it later with the bikes. Yeah. And we got a little bit of ice on the truck this morning. I think there was a little bit more ice yesterday morning than there was this morning, but it is 24 degrees out right now, but it feels good. There is no wind. So it doesn't really, to me, feel as cold as 24 degrees. Our lithium battery is doing very well in our front storage hold here. I've just been turning it off anytime, uh, I've been turning off the charger, I should say, anytime it's dipping below freezing. And uh, we've had no issues, knock on wood. You can tell it's cold by just how much this bacon is steaming. <laughs> yeah, you don't really see that so much in Florida. up and we're gonna hike the last six or half a I guess it's a half a mile to the High Shoals Falls. They definitely have awesome hiking trails here at South Mountains State Park. 
And right here where we've just decided to uh, lock up the bikes and hike on up to the High Falls, there's a little bit of a waterfall here. Very pretty. So I made it to here this morning and I was like, yeah, this is gonna have to be hiked in from here. Can't really ride the bike down these. It's not good, she's drinking water and we've only come 50 yards. I want to. Yeah. So back in 1989, when Hurricane Hugo came through, the high winds and rains from the hurricane caused the, rock, the rocks to slide down the mountain here. It's called exfoliation. It's called don't be underneath it when they start sliding <laughs> is what it's called. You'd be squashed That's right. like an ant. <laughs> So we've seen this plant all around this area. Just curious to know what kind of plant this is. If anybody knows, drop a comment below. It's all over this area up here. Mm -hmm. I want to say it's like a rubber tree or something, but I, I, I really don't know. And you can see the, look at the bloom on it. Yeah. Okay, we're getting ready to, looks like, uh, go a little bit more vertical. This is pretty spectacular right here. And we're not even to the falls yet. I can see the falls way up there at the top. Gorgeous. They say this is a strenuous hike and at first we didn't believe them. Now we believe them. It's definitely, definitely strenuous at this point. It is a lot of rock scramble and some man-made stairs, but it's absolutely beautiful. Woo. Tear is a big old tree. You can see me stand next to it, how big this mama drama is. Yeah, looks like it's already got term termites eating it. Yeah. It's got a little moss growing on it. Allie says she's doing it. I don't know. This is getting really <laughs> steep. This is, uh, this feels like it's harder than chimney rock, even though chimney rock was a lot of man-made stairs. This is a lot of God-made stairs. Woo! What's that? Oh yeah, we're getting close to man-made stairs. Woo! Not an easy hike, guys, not an easy hike. It's long. This is not easy. It's steeper than it looks. The camera does not do it justice. I think once we get to the man-made stairs, it'll be a tad bit easier. Made it to the man-made stairs. Well, I have. Allie's still climbing. Oh, I didn't quite catch that. These stairs. Oh my gosh. Uh. Are you hunting rabbit? <laughs> You look like a hat, like the Elmer Fudd. Hey, Mrs. Fudd, are you hunting wabbit? I think we made it. Let's turn around and see. If I'm not mistaken, those are waterfalls right there. Right there above out. It's pouring right into Allie's head right now. She's so, she's so winded she can't even talk. We made it. Yeah. Oh, wow. So 
Allie and I are riding the bikes now. We are on the headquarters trail. And this right there is, I think, Bears Fall, or Bear Falls. And there is a trail on the other side where you can get to it from. We're gonna continue taking this path on around. And that is, as long as Allie doesn't fall off the mountain on her bike. <laughs> Which almost happened a minute ago. <laughs> Hunting around, rabbit? I came around the corner. She thought she saw a rabbit? <laughs> I'm showing Allie the primitive campsites and she's going to use this bathroom providing it's not locked. I don't see any locks on it. Okay. I've seen this here at the primitive campsites and I thought it was an electrical box, but no. That's bear proof food storage. That's kind of scary to know you'd be camping out here, right? <laughs> Could be a bear. Yeah. Right, Wander right up into your campsite. That's why I'm happy I have an RV. Yep. <laughs> He looked a little nervous coming down that hill. Well, I was scared because at one point I got air. Oh my. Yeah. So I'm down here with Nikki and I'm gonna take her for a hike on the Hemlock Trail. And we're just gonna see how far we can go. Maybe I'll take her on up to High Shoals. We'll just see. But this is a trail here down by the parking area that uh, goes right along the river here. Nice, nice path too. Easy, easy hike. Okay, so I think we decided, me and Nikki are gonna do Big Bear Falls. The trail here is only two tenths of a mile. And I don't think it looks too strenuous, so I think we can get this done before dark. And we haven't seen Big Bear Falls from this side, so hopefully it's a good view. I might have been wrong. So far, this trail goes pretty steeply uphill pretty quickly. This is the first uh, set of stairs we've come to, but uh, Nikki's doing fine. I'm getting winded. Whew. Would definitely say this is a moderate to strenuous two tenths of a mile hike, but it's beautiful. And I think we're getting close to the end here and really hear a lot of waterfalls. So we're gonna see what the payoff is here at the end. Quite the payoff. So this is Bear Falls right here. And with all the rain we had last night, I think she's really ripping and roaring. How beautiful is this? Absolutely gorgeous. Gotta love that sound. Well, we sure have enjoyed our time here at South Mountain State Park, all the awesome hiking and just the peace and quiet of uh, yeah. being really the only campers here for yeah. the most of the time. So nice. Yes. Gonna really hate to say goodbye. Yeah. Um, as we said, we go to Savannah area. Again, I would say the only drawback we 
have had here is the fact that you can't come and go after seven o'clock. Yeah. But for the most part, we haven't really needed to. Um, maybe we would have stayed out a little longer when we were in Chimney Rock that one day, but a uh, small price to pay for a great little campsite here and uh, the peace and quiet, the river and the rapids and the waterfalls and everything. So it's if, been a wonderful time. Yep. If you guys are new here and you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing. It's free. And give us a thumbs up and ring that bell notification so you can follow us on our journey.